All right, good morning. We up, just like I said, we gotta get out here and do do the things we gotta do today, which is my wife and I, we gotta go to our appointment to check on Sydney. Make sure she's, uh, where, she's in good health, right, baby? Make sure she's in good health, sure and everything's okay with her as we're headed out to the hospital. Check on her. Also, we gotta go pick up my wife's prescription and get some breakfast and i got practice this afternoon afternoon so this evening so you know here we go we're about to head out so you know the day in the life of quick and his family all right we off That's what it do, do, do. That's a part of all of. That's like so another don't instrument. That. Don't do that. That's another you instrument. Don't that. Just whistle, make sense. Man, don't tell me what to Look, do. Look, he said you're going too fast. Who said? Who is? Who is he? Hey, that that thing can't talk though. But it says you're going too fast. It tells you. I'm gonna do this. How'd you sleep last night? Like shit. Why? The fan is not in your face, the fan is on me. How you How is you gonna oversleep? Mm -hmm. I don't know how you even got that either way. We late. That's... We were supposed to bend up, but this one right here won't stay in the bed. Could have turned the fan off. That wasn't no big deal. It wasn't that cold. It wasn't. It was in the house. So that means it wasn't that in the room, though. It was that in the house. And why was it 62 degrees in the house? It wasn't because of that fan. No, that. No, it wasn't. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't because of the fan. Why was it 62 degrees in the house? Chantel? The thing automatically cuts itself off. It automatic. What? The heat automatically cuts itself off. And what? Why? It does because it does it I'm at work. Stop saying it like you at work because you ain't at work, obviously. <laughs> this is what I deal with. Don't worry about it. Sydney gonna be here when I when Sydney get be in the house freezing because her mama wanna set the, the set the set the temperature at the house because she at work and don't care about nobody else. We'll see how she feel about it. Be nice and cozy for my child. Oh look, nice and cozy for Sydney. But Screw me, uh, me being at, at the house. No, I don't need no heat. No, I don't need no AC. Mm -mm. Let me burn up or let me freeze to death. You still ain't getting the insurance. Okay, we're here at the hospital. Um, the wife is already, I already dropped her off at the front. So I'm headed up here to the front where she is right now. Um, ensuring that she, so she didn't have to do this long walk journey to the front. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, again, like I said, we're at uh, Sam C. San Antonio Military Medical Center. Here for her appointment. About to find out how Sydney's doing. Going on to going into week 31 on Friday. Week 30, it'll be week 31 Friday. This Friday, today's Wednesday, it's been two days, so doing pretty good so far. So here we go. So we already got our meds. Meds been taken care of. We've done that. We've done the meds already. So now we're about to head up to this. Uh, it's not our appointment. It's our what? Huh? Admissions. Admissions. Going to admissions so we can get the. What's these admissions for? I don't know. You don't know? I, I've never done this before. All 
all right, we're about to go to admissions. Something we haven't done. We don't know what we're going up here before. I'm sure there's probably some paperwork in regards to Sydney coming into the world. So maybe, I don't know. We'll find out here soon in a minute. Oh, wherever she is, I need her to move. Coach Stanby, yeah. ER, Charlie Pod. Oh, I want to go back to work. Coach Stanby, ER, Charlie Pod. So you work here? I do work here, so I have to go. This is where she works, so hopefully. Well, she'll be back here soon once the baby gets here. She got March eyes on him. March 2nd, she'll be back to work, 2016. <laughs> you suffer, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> So we're at pre pre admissions, waiting to be seen or whatever it is with this pre admission. We've never gone through this before, so we doing this together. You wanna go pee first? No. Uh -oh. She wants to get this pre admissions done. Oh, then we can go, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. So use the bathroom, then we can walk right out and go. I ain't gonna park kind of far, so. That makes sense. Makes sense. You gonna do that anyway? So does this tell you exactly what pre-registration is? Yes. Okay. What's the difference? I see. Three, three oh two. I had one oh two, I think. That's the death guy. You see him, it's a bad day. He says I'm on the death day. Oh, for real? Can I be to go? Yes, sir. I don't know. You got something else for us to do? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I talked to him on the phone. <laughs> no, she got a couple of months there. I got a couple weeks left. Let's count weeks, not months. Weeks. 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 Breakfast. My wife just asked me. My wife just asked me. Oh, do you, you must have parked really far because how long it took me to come get her. But as y'all, as I just told y'all, what I'm gonna tell her that I lost the car, but I did lose the car. So yeah. Then she found an exit door. You would have been. Imagine if you would have went out the other door. Yeah, yeah, it would have been real ugly. But I, you know, I, how I had to find the car though, right? The alarm. Yeah. Thank God. But guess what? It was a lady. She has a BMW. I think a BMW or a Mercedes. One of the two. I went and set the alarm off for this, right? She did the same thing. So she was doing the same thing, trying to find her, but her alarm wasn't going off. I said, you might need a new battery. And she's like, are you serious? She's like, I need, I may need a new battery. I said, like, yeah. I said, my wife and I, we just changed the battery on ours. About, my bad, babe, about a week ago. And, and um, and, uh, and it, cause it wouldn't work in the same way. It wouldn't, it wouldn't do it. And so I said, you may need a new battery. And she's like, oh. So I just take this audio, I was like, I explained to her, yeah, it's just to watch better than about three or four dollars. Get it. But her alarm wouldn't go off. It wouldn't go off. No, she got she's got one of those guys in one of them carts riding around help, help trying to help her find it. No, she wasn't real old, she probably in her fifties. Yeah, she probably in her fifties. But yeah, she trying to find her car. So that goes to show it was luckily we um we got uh, got Got the battery changed out. Where you want to go to eat? I don't want the bottle. <gasps> Coffee and cereal. <laughs> Ain't no cereal at home, no way. I'm just saying, it's 10.30. We gotta be at our appointment at 12. Oh, yeah. You get home, and gotta turn right back around. Yeah, by the time you use the bathroom, you're gonna be talking. See that? See what she did? See what she did there? Something else. So. You gonna figure it out or what? Okay, Chantel picked Cracker Barrel for us to go eat breakfast. 
So that's where we're headed in the Cracker Barrel. I already dropped her off so she can go ahead and get the room. Or the room. <laughs> so she can go ahead and get the table for two. So we're headed in the Cracker Barrel. One of our favorite places to eat for breakfast. Dang. Nothing. She don't get it. Look at this. Hi y'all. Good morning. How are good morning. You? How are you? Um, the last What's time we came, you had like a. Do you have any specialty drinks? It was like an apple juice with like. Oh, the apple cranberry tea. Yeah. No, we don't have that right now. Yeah, raspberry tea, regular. Can I get the... I'm really looking forward to that. I just get a coffee, it's fine. And let me get a... Uh... Raspberry lemonade, raspberry iced tea. Let me get raspberry lemonade. I'll be back with that later. Alright, thank you. Yes. What? What's wrong? She's in a weird position. She's been in a weird position all day, huh? Keep stepping in the mud. Who? Oh. You. Why are you stepping in the mud at? Right here. Let's step in the mud. Right here. You got mud all over the house now, as it is. What? You got mud all over the house now, as it is. And who going to get it up? Me. Exactly. So then what are you worried about? I didn't put mud all over the house. Why should I have to be here? I just been. Uh, you know why? Because you being... Uh, Snap something else. Boy, don't get hurt out here. Boy, something you gotta deal with. Uh, uh, stuff you gotta deal with. Uh, uh, I gotta pee. Uh, Why you didn't use the bathroom before you left? I don't know. Who are you yelling at, partner? Your daughter's head is so big. Oh, Jesus. She's got to be like 20 pounds. You no, know, she is not no darn 20 pounds. You ain't putting on no weight. She's four pounds. She's not no four pounds, probably. You no, know, always not. Kind of over exaggerate, yo. Uh, I just want to put Leave, leave in the spot. Yeah, you remember that time you made me pee? You ain't made me wait the whole mile? <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> uh, it's funny now. It's yeah, funny. Right. It's funny. It's real funny to you. You jumped out the car on the highway. Yeah, I jumped out the car on the highway. I had to use the bathroom bad. <laughs> Why didn't we stop? You just didn't want to stop. <laughs> oh, because we just got out of the hospital. Right, I had just got out of the hospital. I had been pumped with a bunch of uh, <laughs> bump, bunch of fluids. So. Oh my God, what is it with you and the gas pedal? I had been pumped with a bunch of fluids. Uh -huh. And you... Want to oh, let make me sit in the car with, and I'm telling you, I gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> and you steady passing up places to go to the bathroom. At. Don't worry about it, I get I out. I wanted you to have a clean bathroom, whatever. You ain't worried, you weren't worried about me to have no clean bathroom. All right, we're here at my wife's doctor's appointment for Sydney. About to go in here and check out, see how Sydney's doing this week. We're here at Wilford Hall. Showing that Sydney is doing well. Want to make sure everything is going as planned as it's supposed to. Um, I dropped again. I dropped my wife off in the front, so I'm walking up here by myself. As you can see, she's not around. So I'm headed up, and we're about to go in here. See what's up. I'm here for the wait. Oh, I'm putting it. Is it? They are. They didn't even take your blood. Did they? Uh, but you know it's gonna be hot. She's aggravated already. 
She's something else. She's something else. And Sydney gonna be just like I already see it. Why are you aggravated? So aggravated. Just aggravated right now. My wife is aggravated. It's crazy. Okay, let me let me, let me get y'all to understand one. She want me to see something that I really don't want to see. She want me to see a woman get cut up in a C-section. I don't want to see that. Why do I need to see that? Uh, that is gross. Why do I? Why, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. That's nasty. I don't want to see that. I'm not watching Sydney come out like that. I'm not doing it. Not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. I'll be up front where she's at. Chantel likes stuff like that. I can't watch stuff like that. I don't have it. I don't have it. Uh uh. No. Look how they digging. They digging. <laughs> They digging in her. Look, look how they digging like it's like they digging in a garbage can. No, I don't want that. They're just digging like no in no with no regards of like that's a human body. I know I hide it good, huh? Oh, she got two babies. Oh, you have twins. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, 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 my goodness. We were scared. We put, when we did the IVF, we put, we put two. I don't want you to get in there and be like, oh, my God, they're hurting my baby. Like, they're going to, it's going to look aggressive. It's going to look like they're manhandling her, but it's not hurting her. How do we know that? How do we know that it's not hurting her? How do we know that? It's not. How do you know that? They don't feel, we're not doing anything to do it on purpose. I'm not saying I'm, I never said that you were doing it on purpose, but how do we know that it's not it's not hurting her? How do we know that? Just because she's already crying, so we don't know if it's hurting or not. She's already going to be crying, so how do it's we know not, it's not? It's not going to kill her. Okay, I didn't say nothing about killing her. I just said it's why they got to be so aggressive and manhandle the baby. They're not manhandling them. Yes, they were. They do be manhandling the baby. He picked her up like a he picked that baby up like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> no. They're slippery. So you gotta pick them up by a sack of potato because they slippery. Well, you wanna, how do you want them to hold her? Gently. No. Why is that? Why not? You gotta pick them up. Well, we rushing for them. <laughs> you just gotta pick them up. But what are we rushing for? I'm trying to figure. It's not like they're rushing. It's just you just that's how they pick how you pick them up. You look at they pick them up by her ankles. They did. They did pick them up by the ankles. That's what I'm talking about. Sack of potato. <laughs> It was just like a uh, like ankles. I was like, wow, why do they gotta pick them up like that? Why they can't pick them up like we would? Like, would you pick her up like that? To take them to my after she's out the house, would you pick her up like that? No. Okay. She's home. Okay, so why to pick her up like that when she come out the womb? It's better that like so they do it worse. Like sometimes they just like take them out and like throw them on your chest. Okay, that's not I, I, okay. That what's bad? What's wrong with that? Compared to picking them up like a sack of potato. They're dirty and they're slippery. I, I get it, but what does that have to do with them being picked up? Sack of potatoes. That's how we do it. And then okay. You get mad they were suctioning. You gotta get all that stuff I out. I wasn't mad about them suctioning them. I know that they gotta get everything out of their out of their, out of their yeah. mouth and all that stuff. I got that. A bunch of stuff in it. What I'm saying is the way he was forcing it down into the baby's throat, like what? Like goodness. Does it have to be so forceful? I'm gonna just let you not be so dramatic when she gets here. Right? I'm not gonna be dramatic, but I'm not gonna let them sit there and just do some things that I feel like doesn't take that type of measure so to do it. Do, like, stick Stop. Them with stick them with needles? Why are they sticking them with needles? She has to get tested when she gets here. Oh, okay, that's fine. I ain't worried about that. They stick them with needles, they measure them, they okay. bathe them. They bathe them. And then oh. you gotta get all that stuff off. Okay. Trying to get the learning south is rough. The learning when they're like trying to get all that stuff off their face. <laughs> she didn't have to do all. That's she didn't have to do to all of that. Though. It's a lot of work. It is. I don't think you're ready. I don't think they're ready for me, cause I'm, I'm telling you. Look, just the section part. I'm not letting you see the nasty part that you don't want to see. Look. 
not bothering the baby. Look how his thumb is. Look how he, you see how he dug it? <laughs> Did y'all see that? He put that in up. Man, that was ridiculous. I can just go around. Exactly. Look how they handling the baby. We're trying to get out. He was still in there. Oh. Yeah, that's too much. Too much. Did you talk it to him? I did. It turned out great. Did it? <laughs> it did. It turned out better than the. Um, and you ain't bring us now? Um, well, no, I left it at my mom's house. Oh. Done with the appointment. How you feel? Good appointment. Good appointment. How's Sydney? Great, as always. Huge. Three, three pounds, nine ounces. Walking the pregnancy mile. Walking the pregnancy mile. Walking the pregnancy mile. Mom wants me to get a shot and the fucking will be cold. After one, one fifteen. So. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Thirsty. You thirsty? Thirsty. You got something to drink in the car? This way. Oh, is it this one? Thank you. So. Immunology. Immunology. All right, we back in the car, headed back. Got a couple of more stops. My wife said we gotta we gotta go by Aunt Sands. Yeah, we just gotta pick up some. Gotta go by Angie's house and pick up some things, and then we headed back to the house. Then I got a few hours before I go to practice. The boys, I gotta do some more. Um, How's your arm feel? Playing, play Did changing, it huh? Did it hurt for real? Uh -uh. Your yeah. arm was twitching, probably because you was tense. Mm, tried to relax and move, so I was shaking. I was so shaking. Yeah, yeah nah, it, didn't, it didn't hurt that bad. It felt like a shot. And that's I mean, what where it is felt. the sun coming from? Jesus It's Christ. daytime, baby. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. What Lord, have mercy on my soul. It's pretty good, boy. I mean, the sun is like... I mean, really? I mean, what really, what do you, I mean, I mean, what you want, that, what did you want to do? Uh, it's like, we make it turns. What do you mean, stay where it's at? It is staying where it's at. We're the one moving. Time to tell me that. I know. I just thought about it right now. Alright, YouTube. I'm out here cleaning the black mamba. Gotta clean her up. She gotta look right for a few days. Um, we out of town all weekend, so we gotta clean her up, make her look good.
All right, this is about to be the last part of my day. I'm headed out to uh, football practice for FBU, like I, was, like I was speaking about earlier today. So I'm about to head out there now. So I'm about to head to practice. We're about to practice for about two and a half hours. Get the kids ready for this tournament this weekend. So gotta get it ready, gotta get them ready. Gotta be prepared and let's go out here and make things happen. All right, come join me. So I'm headed out here to this field um, for practice. Um, pretty dark right now. It is dark here. It's like 6, 20, 21 or whatever. And um, practice is supposed to start at 7. Um, so I'm headed that way now. Hope th hopefully these kids will be ready to play, be ready to get things done out here on this practice field today and so we can uh, – Get some things accomplished this evening so we'd be ready for our Saturday. We're only three days away, so they got to be prepared, and hopefully they've been studying and getting into their playbooks and learning the plays so that uh, we don't have to spend a whole lot of time going over the plays uh, a great deal. So we'll see you here in a minute. All right. All right. <clears throat> Done with. FBU football practice, national championship team practice. Um, just got done, it's like 10 o'clock. Been out there talking probably for the last 20, 30 minutes though. But uh, practice is over, look pretty decent. <clears throat> Excuse me, still don't look like, it's, don't look as good as I would like for us to look, but we look pretty decent. So um, we still got one more practice, but it's more of a walkthrough than an actual practice. But I'm headed home now. Um, 
to get back home to the wife and see what's up with her and see make sure she's good she went to church tonight so about to do that and then um that'll be it that'll be the end of the day we'll start over doing something different tomorrow outside of well i still got practice tomorrow but it's a walk through dry dry run and um that's pretty much it so